This is the dialogram balance that you'll be using in Honors Chemistry for most of your weighing needs. When you're ready to use the balance, be sure to pull it slightly away from the wall, but keep it on the ledge. You want it to be on a flat surface, and we don't want to be moving them around the classroom. When you're ready to use the balance, you're going to put what you are weighing on the balance pan. You're going to also be using these sliders as well as the diagram. The first thing you're going to do is to check to see on this edge if your diagram balance is zeroed. You're going to line up the little line with the zero. If it's not, you have two options. Your first option is to use the silver knob at the far end. If you dial it out, it will make the balance come up a little bit. If you dial it in, it'll make the balance go down a little bit. If it's really far off of zero, you may need to use the big black knob here. Now that the balance is zeroed, you may put your piece of weighing paper or weighing boat on the balance pan. But before you put the chemical on, you need to find the mass of the weighing paper. So I'm going to dial my dial just a little bit. Now it's at zero and the mass is less than a gram. Here's the gr one gram mark and mine is less than half a gram. So it's going to be point four something. That something is my estimated digit. If we zoom in we can see it's just about four and a half. So I'm going to say the mass of my weighing paper is 0.45 grams. Be sure to record that in your lab journal because you'll have to subtract it from the total mass of your object. Now you can put your chemical on the balance pan and start moving the riders. At 10 grams, already 10 grams is too heavy, so I move it back to zero. And again, I'm going to use the dialogram. Now the arm starts to move. I want it to be exactly at zero. I'm going to dial back a little. Now again, it is lined up exactly at the zero point. My diagram is not quite nine. I'm going to say it's 8.95 grams. Then, don't forget, you're going to subtract the mass of the, the weighing paper, which was 0.45 grams, and that will give you the total mass of your red chemical. Sometimes you'll want to weigh out a certain quantity of substance. So again, always make sure your balance is set to zero. You're going to put your weigh paper or your weigh boat on the pan. And then you are going to have to zero out your weigh paper again. And now let's say I need one gram of salt. All I need to do, since it's at zero, is look at this. Right now my weigh paper is approximately 0.3 grams. And I want one gram of salt. So my final mass is going to be 1.3 grams. So I'm going to use my dialogram and move it to 1.3 grams. You'll notice that the beam has sunk below the zero. As I add salt to my balance pan, that arm is going to come back up to zero. When it's at or very close to zero, I have one gram of salt. So I'm going to add my salt a little bit at a time, keeping a close eye on my, on my balance.
trying to get right up or near the zero without spilling any off the paper. Some chemicals will react with the balance pan. Also, if it's not on the way paper, you are massing things that you won't actually put into your reaction or into your reaction vessel. Okay, you can see now it is at zero and my weighing is done.